All right, we are actually recording now. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Mythic Multiplayer. This is the fourth time that we are opening Shining Fates packs on the channel because we went out of our way to get all of this stuff. It's been incredibly difficult with stores being sold out everywhere. We've been going to like Walmart and Walgreens every day. Target only sells Pokemon cards for one hour, one day a week in the morning. And even then, when you know that there's going to be product, a lot of people show up, it's difficult. So we've been fighting tooth and nail to get this product, and we're going to keep opening it until we get the pulls that we want. We actually kind of started this already. We are opening the the shiny Crobat VMAX Premium Collection tonight. And I went ahead and opened the pack and realized that we weren't recording. <laughs> Oops. There, there was nothing good in it, so you didn't miss out, but uh, just go, just running through it again, we've got the Crobat VMAX shiny jumbo card. Beautiful. Honkin' big boy. That's a honker. We got shiny Crobat V, shiny and Crobat VMAX. VMAX. And the coin, right? And a jumbo yep, coin. It is, look... Size comparison. Let me put my hand next to it. It's a big coin. Yeah, it is. And then in the last pack, we had Frostmoth, Hollow, Psychic Energy, Rusted Shield, Eldegoss, Dartrix, Reverse Hollow, Shinx, Weasel, Rowlet, Trap Inch, Coughing Shinx. Nothing great. Just now that we're all up to speed. And we're actually recording this time. We are recording. Let's let's go ahead and open another Dragapult pack. I love that funky little ghost dragon. Shoots babies out of his head and doesn't afraid of anything. Nope. It's like I live for the danger. I'm really dating myself with that meme. Moving on. There we go. That's a good pack opening. It's putting that fingernail to good use. Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm purposefully playing into the absurdity of it now. I got a long thumbnail that I'm trimming immediately after this. <laughs> Maybe trimming it will give you good luck. I want the luck now. One, two, it's three. my one luck, and I want it, and I want it, it now. <laughs> Sticking with steel. Let me guess, grass, grass. and fairy. I'm gonna go fighting this time. It's a steal. I win. I'm on the board. Aww. That's one point for me. Play along at home. Eldegoss. Tropius. Ball guy. Ball guy doing the YMCA dance again. <laughs> Another Morpico. Spinarak. A Buizel. Buizel. Rowlet. Galarian Weezing. Oh, even better. It's not a coughing. It's a Galarian Weezing. You mean okay. Doug Dimmodome? Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. That's another disappointing one. Let's go for a... Let's do a Toxtricity pack. If my camera can stay in focus, that would be fantastic. Up I'm literally sick me. with grass until I get one. I'm just saying in advance. That's what I did, and I got one with steel. I think I'm going to switch it up now a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, Dio, that wild card. What's he going to pick? Oh, Dio. One, two, three, like four. Old, like an old, like, Water. his laugh track. Oh, Dio. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to go fighting this time again. Dark. Oh, dark. That's one you don't see Darkness. a whole lot. Yeah, Rotom. you're right. Rotom. Rush Shield. of Shield. Floatzel. Ooh, I like the artwork on that Floatzel. Spinarak. Kofant. Galsifloor. Snom. Snom on a bench. <laughs> on a bench. Coughing. Coughing! Reverse Hollow Grookey. Professors of Research. Boo. Boo. Boo, Professor's Research. <laughs> Got another Toxtricity. Why not? 
Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I I can't tell if it's comedic or just annoying. <laughs> Most people would just like tear into the packs because they don't care about like the art or whatever. They're a wild animal. Yeah, like a like a Neanderthal. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Water. Grass. Fighting. Grass. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. Finally, my time has come. Tropius. Rotom. Cramorant. Eevee. Gossiflor. Choodle. Another Morpico. Oh boy. Cacnea. Reverse Hollow Horsey. Dreadna. That doesn't feel like it should have been at the end of the pack. Just a regular dread. <laughs> Okay, picking right back up where we left off. We got another Dragapult pack. I for a while start I started shiny hunting drag or creepy rather in uh, po in Pokemon Shield. I've gone through a few hundred eggs already to Oof. to no avail, which is far what you, from what do you far what do you do with all those hunt. what do you do with all those dreepy? I release everything that's not literally perfect, but I've got like three boxes full of perfect IV Dreepy. None of them shiny. That I though, can right? I can redistribute, I guess, to anyone who wants them. Water. Psychic. Fighting. Dark again. That's interesting. Are we, are we just not going to get any fairy energies? No, they're fairy energies is so rare. It feels like. Team Yell, Tropius. Like, unless it's a set that's heavily, spe like, specializes in fairy, you're not gonna see it. Yeah. One of these packs has to not be a dud, right? Hollow you would Indy. think so. It'll be, like, the final one. They're, they're, they're gonna force me to open a, an elite trainer box. Oh, boy. To try to get something you good. You aren't doing it. You aren't doing it. I, I will have at least one sealed ETB to put in a plastic case and just shelf for like 10 years and then watch it be worth $5,000. That's not All even right. that's not even an exaggeration. I have a base set XY Eveltal Elite Trainer box that I paid $40 for retail value in 2013, 2014. And it's now worth a few thousand dollars. Oof. Because it's... People want that nostalgia. It's sealed, and it's rare. There are not a lot online. I can't find it, though, is the problem. <laughs> it's been in storage somewhere for a long time. If I can find it, that's, I could use that money. But yeah, I, I, I paid 40 bucks for it, and now it's worth at least a thousand. I saw an, an auction on eBay recently sell for like 1100 I've said it before, but I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Investing in Pokemon cards is a wiser financial decision than investing in stocks. Water. Psychic. Fighting. Water. I got two on the board now. Play along at home. Luxio. Team Yell Towel. Thwacky. Thwacky. Nicket. Gossiflor. Cacnea. Kufant, Weasel, Reverse Ooh, Hollow Eldegoss, Eldegoss, and another plain, a, a, another plain old Dreadnought. Like why it's not even a Hollow or Reverse Hollow or anything? It's just a regular old Dreadnought. I don't know how that keeps ending up in the back of the pack. I really feel like Last this set is pointing. It's extremely repetitive if you don't get something from the <laughs> from the from the shiny vault or a secret rare. Yeah, the, at least with <laughs> other like sets, it felt like there was such a greater amount of variance. Ninety percent coughings and Spinarax and more, more because. <laughs> oh, you want some uh, gossip floors too? I paid forty bucks for this, and I've gotten nothing of value out of it so far. 
What do you Ima mean? Imagine you got all those coughings. And imagine Morphicos the people who and... who paid a hundred dollars. I've legitimately seen people buy that same thing for a hundred dollars. That's why you don't do that. Electric. I will not uh, pay more than retail. Fighting. I should have said water again. I was on Aww. the I was on the fence about it. I was like, now nah, I'm gonna switch it up. Rested shield, team yell towel. Elder Goss, Rowlet, Morpico, Morpico, Eevee, Buizel, Nicket, Coughing, Come on, Dredna. Ooh. It would make more sense at this point to just buy a shiny V Max Charizard. I've literally spent more on all of the packs than I. Like I, you can buy an ungraded. Shiny Charizard V Max for like less than three hundred dollars, and then get it graded, and it's worth like a thousand. I've spent more yeah. on on packs than I, I could have just bought the the shiny Charizard, at this point, and made a fat profit off of it. But I guess that kind of negates the experience. We got a bunch of duds today, which means we're gonna have to do another video at some point. We're gonna have to get an ETB. To open there's some more pin packs oh boy or something yeah i have literally nothing to show in the last video we had uh a couple shinies and like a ditto v yeah we had we had like a shiny wooloo and stuff like that but in the two videos before that we had a bunch of we had like full art rose full art skyla we had a bunch of full art shinies and v maxes i opened this whole crobat premium collection all seven packs nothing nothing of value nothing that just goes to show the gamble when you actually open the packs i have fallen more into the camp of just buying things sealed to hold on to them because at least i know that they're going to appreciate dramatically in value whereas opening the packs like this super hit or miss again the first two videos crazy hits Last video, the third one, not so much. In this video, a total dud. You just never know. At any rate, if you liked this video, hit like to let us know. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so our content gets pushed out to your dashboard as we release it. If you do want to see some actual good hits, go back and watch part one and part two. We got some great cards in those two videos. And, you know, the third video is worth watching as well. There was some interesting stuff there. Like, one and two being high tier, but part three was still worth watching. So you can go back and watch those in order. I'll make a, I'll make a playlist with all the card opening videos that we do. But thank you guys. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite card in the Shining Fates expansion is. And, uh, I don't know. We got any, any parting words? Nope. Nope. Bye.